Hey folks, and welcome back to RimWorld 1.0 with our group, the bad guys. We have Edward. Is he even wearing clothes? What's going on here with Edward? He's got pants on, so he'll avoid the nudity buff. Debuff, rather. Um, yeah, as long as you have pants on, you can avoid that. And I guess it is... Well, it's quite nice outside 70. That's pretty good for us. We're in kind of a precarious situation here. We've got our four best colonists out on the road heading to destroy this outpost. They just left at the end of our previous episode. And it's going to take them just under a day to get there. So hopefully it's a quick trip. But back at home, we've got McBride who's sick. We've got an extreme break risk for Nash. Gutworms, two of your colonists, Lecter and Hans. So they've gotten that on the road. I really hope I packed medicine along with these guys. We did not bring medicine. Um, can you die from gut worms? I, I, I don't know if it just gives you a debuff to a bunch of skills or if you can actually die from it, but that really sucks that we don't have any medicine on that caravan. And me, meanwhile, back at home, things like I, like I was getting into, these colonists that we have hanging back, I don't really like seeing Edward walk all the way out here to, to haul. But these guys that we have hanging back are not doing so great. Steven actually is, is passed on. McBride's husband. She's now sick in, in the hospital. With just a bite. Okay. I think she attacked our own warg, if I'm not mistaken, after a mental break. Um, so anyway, yeah, things not looking so great. Where is Steven? I, I can't figure out where... He, oh, I can. Okay, he's just in our freezer. So he'll probably get butchered. Um, or maybe I'll make a little grave for Steven. No, we're not going to do that. Official bad guys only. Now, we have the hauling, we have two hauling bots now, which is great. And you're just charging here, right? Yeah, you're activated. You guys are charging. It's fine. I don't want people hauling quite so much. Yeah, for example, Edward has a one on haul. I don't really want that. I don't want you even hauling before you do any of this other stuff. Even managing. Haul last for now. We'll see how we get on with that. And then you guys will continue to craft. You're doing what kind of craft? Make stone blocks for McBride? What's your skill? One? And you're, you're a zero. But I do want you to practice. I mean, I'm, we have so much smoke leaf that I'm okay with you not being, you know, as efficient as some other guys could be. We've got some to spare. And it will go bad in here. Yeah, 9.6 days. So we're not churning through it as fast as we need to. Our colony's got to get bigger. Uh, McBride's fully healed, though. No one's in a great mood. Hopefully there's some things around for them to address that with. We do have a meteor that landed. Anything... In, wow. That almost damaged... Do we have a power line running through here? Okay, so nothing got damaged there. Okay. Well, I mean, I will queue up a mining job. It'll be a while before we get to it. I mean, we haven't even gotten to this yet. But since it's far away, I don't see it happening too soon. This isn't our home zone, correct? Okay, because I, I do want to see this get repaired. Uh, this, I'm tired of. Now that we've moved on, this is just in a terrible location. I guess I'll live with the farm being out here for now. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy the settings on that zone. And I think I'm going to move it down here. This is eventually where our animal barn is going to be. So I will move it down here and just get it covered at least. Both hay and kibble are pretty resilient. So we'll just you know throw it maybe down in this tucked away in here. Maybe one more out, and we'll paste those settings, and we'll go ahead and just delete this entirely. Maybe we'll repurpose this room, I don't know, I'm not going to tear down the walls yet, but we can go ahead and hold the door open to make that a little bit faster. And what is this, agave? Ready to harvest? That should get queued up by our manage... Whenever we do a management uh, task, but I'm going to leave it. Food we sort of got on top of we've got a bunch of raw rice and a, f a few meals hanging back and that rice is hopefully making its way to the hopper yes it is okay so these guys aren't going to starve uh i am worried about the gut worms though so hold on we rain is on a shooting frenzy perfect time because we're about to go get into a fight uh the gut worms i can dismiss um but yeah really really unfortunate that we didn't send any medicine along with them i mean we do have medicine don't we yeah we've got lots of herbal at the very least which we grow in-house. We've got regular medicine here. We don't quite have the technology to make our own medicine. We're not even at drug production yet, which actually I think we're researching now. Psychite refining. 
and that unlocks both uh, different forms. I think, okay, it unlocks Flake and Yayo. Okay, great. And let's see, cargo pods crashing. Hey, we'll take some food, absolutely. And you know what? I'm going to get a haul urgently on this. That'll get our guys actually to come out and help with the bots. And it's close enough where I'm not too worried about how long that's going to take. Uh, so Rain with a shooting frenzy. Excellent. We'll have to make sure that he's in position to do some damage. Hans and Lecter suffering from gut worms. Um, I mean, I guess they can tend to it. It just won't be... Yeah, it's getting tended to. And actually with a decent quality, 47%, given they're not using medicine. Okay, so he's just in pain. Oh, and he's eating much more. We didn't bring that much food to begin with. That could be a bit of an issue. I, I sent along a bunch of kibble as as a backup. Obviously, that'll affect their mood pretty negatively. And they're 0.3 days away, so we'll be shifting over there any moment here. Meanwhile, back at home... I feel like we're getting close to the point where we're sort of organized. I think we, we really just spread things out way too thin. Oh, this farm is up now. And we're going to get corn planted here at some point. Rain is our, our number one grower, so no big surprise that that hasn't been, you know, quite getting done yet. Um, I'm going to build another door here. I think we'll go ahead and use this room. Maybe eventually this becomes a brewery. I, I do want to put that somewhere. I'm not quite sure where yet. This we talked about also, given that we can't grow anything on the sand. That could make a decent indoor area for both brewing and a barrels and all that stuff. And it's fairly close to home base. Oh, and I did find out that guys can walk over batteries. I just couldn't command him to. I don't think I'll walk over it to mine. But they might have been able to repair this. But I'm happy with this wall either way. Uh, Alright, let's see. So we moved our crafting. We moved this, which I wanted to do. Got our caravan about to arrive. We bumped the crafting a bit over hauling for some of these guys. Oh, great. Edward's down here making smoke leaf. Now the issue is he's actually not going to get better at crafting from doing this. Unless it happens after every roll. Oh, did that go from 342 to 392? I don't think that... I was looking right at it. I glanced away now. I don't remember what number I was looking at. I don't think low level crafting increases your skill. So... Alright, so the caravan has arrived. By the way, I'm just going to make sure these are drop on floor. I, th I thought there used to be an icon here that would tell you. I don't know if this Dubs Mint Menu mod is overriding that. And maybe based on an old version of this UI. But I thought in 1.0 I could just toggle drop on floor from here. Uh, but it's already there. So that's fine. I guess he just was on his way anyway. Or maybe he's going to bed. Okay. Uh, Edward actually not in a bad mood. Ne neither is Nash. McBride will hopefully get there. Someone's got to... I don't know. I don't know who back at home is doing the cooking. I mean, you're a two, but you're only doing certain things. Um, yeah, I mean, you guys are only hauling to food hoppers. Which, by the way, is that a cooking job? I hope not. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, oh, Edward, you actually have a passion for... Oh, no, that's negotiating. I'm going to bump your negotiate and warden up since you got the, the double passion for it. And it doesn't pop up that frequently, so it shouldn't affect your day-to-day. -day. Now, what are we dealing with? Oh, heavy... Force was this? Uh, is this a swamp? Uh, where's the terrain tab? Tropical rainforest. Okay. Uh, so moving and shooting will be a little bit difficult. These guys are tribal. They can do damage though. Are these their alpacas? There's a rhino here. Uh, no guns or turrets or anything. They do have sandbags. I guess we just approach. And we'll see if we get an opportunity to pick them off or not. Or we could simply bombard them. Uh, someone should be holding that. Inventory, nothing. Inventory, nothing. Inven oh, we got the alpaca here. The alpaca has the EMP, the orbital bombardment. I mean, we could finish this off now. It is fun to use, but I, I feel like we could get more bang for our buck using it elsewhere. Hmm. Purple chicken, humps, and richa. Uh, what are you guys holding? So we've got four short bows, it looks like. All of them are in poor condition. Shooting is a two, shooting's a zero, 
Shooting's a zero. Shooting's a three with minor passion. Okay, we're not going... We should be able to take these guys out easily, and if we don't... Drafted hunt. I gotta figure out what that is, because... Uh, drafted columns... Okay, so while drafted, they'll just take pot shots at wild animals. That's not the worst, but we certainly don't want to get a rhino or a panther angry at us as we're approaching these guys, because these guys shouldn't be a big threat. I think we'll just come in the direction we're headed. You know, I mean, there's there's trees everywhere. Not exceptional cover, but I don't see any advantage from coming in one way or another. Really, I think we just kind of would like to split these guys up as much as we can. Oh, there are five guys, right? And you're also... Your bow's even worse. Awful, but you're, also, you're a three-shooter, so one of the best. Okay, looks like we have an opportunity here to take out Humps. Chicken's on his way over. Um, Lector. Hang back. Actually, Lector, I'm going to have you go here. And then... I mean, I don't want you to go too far. Maybe here. And then here, and maybe you can come in from behind and, and do something. Although you'll be walking through the marsh, which is somewhat slow. Everybody else, are you in range already? Um, let's get you guys like here. Although I would like to split up because I don't want an errant shot to hit some other guy. I don't trust their accuracy. Oh, Rain has a shotgun, right? So he's got to get a little bit closer here. Um, let's try and make it down here if you can, Rain. Hans should be in range. Okay, he's shooting. We hit a rhino. I would like to focus fire so we can get guys taken out as quickly as possible. Lecter's under fire. Okay, nice shot there. You guys move on to chicken. Both rain and phoenix with the positive thought bubbles for the death. Usually those are red. Um, but if you look... Uh, witness death but with bloodlust. Eight and... Phoenix may have gotten the kill, so this is even higher. He killed someone 12, yeah, so. All right, Lecter, I'm going to have you just go after Caterpillar. Retcha might come around and flank you, but... Um, oh, and Rain, you're no longer... Rain, maybe go back up Lecter. And we'll split off in our own teams of two. Nice shot there, and they are... Oh, they're attacking now. They're, they finally realize we're here. There's one inside that will get up and come out, so I'm going to pop back here. It's just in case he comes out this door, so we're ready. And Lecter, I'm going to have you maybe make a run for the door. And you could either come straight down to help with these two guys. Or ambush the guy that comes out the door. Meanwhile, you two guys come right behind these two trees. Alright, here's Lecter. I'm going to have him go get purple. I'm going to count on him taking purple out relatively quickly. You guys continue where you're at. In fact, actually, maybe come more to here. Rain just took a shot from a... Okay, I think they're fleeing. The quest is completed. Hopefully they have some herbal medicine. Um, Lecter, why don't you come check the door? Don't melee attack it. This is strange how this works. I have to claim the door. And then I can go inside. Uh, Hans, why don't you go with him? I don't know why. Okay, lots of beds. I doubt there's any masterwork or anything that we want to even consider taking with us, but with one alpaca, probably not feasible anyway. Nothing really we want to deconstruct and take. I mean, steel's pretty heavy. If we had maybe a few more animals, maybe we break these down and take them, but I think it's really just time to go. Uh, don't need to unforbid everything, because we'll get the option to take all of this stuff, even though it's unforbidden. And our quest is completed, and I'm pretty sure we have a mega screen TV waiting for us back at the base. So let's get these guys formed and headed back home. Okay, all of our things. Uh, oops. We will certainly want the pemmican, because we are low on food. Two days, plenty to get us back. That's 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 a nice bonus for us. Uh, let's see. Short bows, the value for the weight, not really there. I want to be moving quickly. And this is almost a kilogram, which is fairly heavy. Tainted clothing. These are ours. Awful beds. 11 normal bed. Oh, that's slate. That's really heavy. 50 kilograms each for those beds. Uh, but we could take one if we wanted, but we don't. Uh, hell, maybe we'll take a few bows with us. Poor bows. Still moving 9.1 tiles a day. What's the difference? 9.1, 9.2. 
Yeah, shouldn't make a big difference. Okay, we'll choose our route back home. That's our home, right? Yep. This is the temporary settlement we made. I wish that would kind of disappear. All right, and they should be there in 1.4 days. They've got enough food. We didn't get any medicine out of it, but... Um, yeah, so these guys are... I thought it was Hans and Lecter. Oh, yeah, they're in medium pain, medium pain. Oh, I didn't see the damage these guys took. Rain took an arrow. Just a cut in the head. Okay, I guess he's lucky that's not worse. And Lecter got into a fist fight or a melee fight. You got bruised pretty hard in your left index finger, but you didn't lose it. So, good job. And you got gut worms. Alright, excellent. Now let's go back home and see where they dropped off this uh, new TV. Here it is. Forbidden out in the rain, or out in the uh, elements at least. And get a, a sense for how big this is. Uh, that's pretty nice. Uh, now the thing is, I guess... I mean, this is kind of cool if we had it here for now. I don't like how it's not totally centered, but anyone eating here will, I believe, be able to make use of this. Would this make a little bit more sense? Yeah, I like it more out of the way, I think. We'll, we'll try this. Plus, I don't have to wire anything across the across the um, the floor. Uh, let's unforbid this so someone actually does this. Uh, let's see... I don't know if the hauling bot can do that. That's a construction job, I think, temporarily. No, it says hauling. I don't want to leave it out here. I mean... Okay, so the hauling bot moved it inside, which is great. But I, but So I'm fine with that now. It's not going to get damaged in here, so I won't, I won't force anyone to do it. Cool. Um... Let's see. Oh, I think I'm going to stop these coolers. I don't want to keep refilling them with wood, I think is how it works. Yeah, 50 wood every... Well, it's probably about five days. Yeah, that's too much. We don't we don't have that much coming in on this map. We have a decent stockpile now, but I think we actually even bought some. Uh, birthday for Diego Rain Fernandez. Biological age of 53. Now he has a bad back. Oh no, Rain. He celebrated his birthday on the road. Well, I mean, he might be faking it just so he can come home and, and get some of that mega screen time in. We'll see. Uh, we've tried f fixing Frail in the past with a bionic spine with no luck. But I have a, I have a feeling that Bad Back might be fixable with a bionic spine. There are also items that will heal your worst injury. And if you don't actually have an active injury, it'll heal your worst... I uh, say a missing leg or in, in Rain's case, it would be a Bad Back if that's all he had. So that's something to consider, too, if we come across those. Because I do really want to take as good of care as, as we can of our, our four main colonists. And as we can see, it's been pretty hard to grow our main bad guys. We started with three. We've only been able to add one more with the traits we're looking for. Uh, Rain is fully healed now, except for the bad back. Uh, Nash chipping in with the growing. It's great to see. Everyone's got helmets on because we are in raid mode. Yeah, that's fine. I, I Caravan mode isn't needed because these guys are already going to eat whatever they want. Because they're official bad guys. Okay. And how the hopper's looking. Still okay. And these are pretty much full stacks here, so... It's really the crafting is falling behind, the mining. And, oh, I do not like this, actually. This is a little bit scary. We do have some overhead mountain exposed. I mean, obviously we want to get... Um, let's see, is that roof? Yeah, obviously we want to get cargo pods. Let's take a quick peek at those. Ooh, Devil Strand. Um, enough to make a cowboy hat with, I suppose, which will really help with the heat. Or at least with fire. And where is that? Yeah, not too... We probably want to add a door here now. Yeah. I, well, I do probably want to double wall it if we're going to do that because I really don't want a tax coming in this way. We're quite vulnerable from that direction, so we'll go granite. And it'll be slow to get in and out of here, but that's fine because I don't see us using it too frequently. So we're all, we are going to go two granite doors. 
just to really dissuade people from attacking this direction. We'll see how it goes. And I really want to do this sooner than later, but I'm not quite sure if we have the the fighting ability yet for that. Maybe we want to get a little bit better armored. This needs repair, but we should have plenty of components. We always buy them. Yeah, 105. Um, okay. So that's another way, right? So we were over here looking at this. If we, so we are susceptible to infestation. I want to get all the steel out, and then then start filling it in. But for the time being, we want to at least buy ourselves some time. Should should an infestation occur? So we're going to granite door that. Do we have the Do we have the ability to make? No, we don't. Uh, on some sort of incendiary trap would have been nice too, just to cook them if, if they happen to come in. But we'll start with this, uh, Edward, going to roll. That's great. And now we'll find out once and for all. Yeah, 392. I don't think this has any effect. Yeah, it looks like it doesn't. Which is okay. He's rolling them. And the hauling bot's there to pick them up and take them. I kind of wish you could... You know, the hauling bot would wait for a bigger stack, but hey, if it's got nothing else to do, that's fine. But it is prioritizing closer things, so this is kind of dominating its jobs right now. Still have that TV in. Nash going to get a f some food. These guys are actually in decent moods. Steven's still left unburied. That's going to be a mood hit. But uh, when Lecter gets back and gets back in the kitchen, well, that'll be uh, that'll resolve itself. A DMS was your friend? That was a while ago. All right, our caravan is home. Always nice to see because we are vulnerable when we go out. They're in decent spirits. They'll finally get some decent medicine. Um, and I'm going to go to the assign tab and go back to standard. Look at Hans's awesome hair. I forgot his hair looked like that. And then the cowboy hats will go on automatically. As well as the bowler hats for the the non-main bad guys. Rain's asleep, so uh, he'll get it when he wakes up. Uh, room is 50. You're not getting a slept in the cold debuff or anything, are you? You are. So these are a little bit too low now. So let's have to tweak these a bit. They, I mean, they are quite low. 46. Let's get them to like 54. Because this is still 96 outdoors. I don't want... I don't want this room to get above maybe 75, 80. We'll see how that goes. Psychite refining is done. Excellent. And gunsmithing is now in the queue. I think I'm fine with that. Uh, do we have any bills set up for this at all? Make simple helmet. Do we have a disassembled mechanoid? Do forever. And just move that up. Okay. We haven't seen any yet, but uh, once we do, we'll get their plasteel, their steel, and I think sometimes components. Uh, McBride, I thought you were just in a decent mood. Yeah, Steven died. That was a while ago, though. Okay. Oh, the corn's going down. That's great to see. No roof. Good. We haven't had to defend this area yet since we moved the turret. It's a bit far. You know, Rain, now that you're up, what are you doing? Yeah, you're kind of... Well, you're actually right here, so I want to come bring you over here. Um... Yeah... Hmm, where would be the ideal place for rain? Then maybe we could make some... Hey guys, sorry about that. We got another crash in the game, which is unusual because... The, the last one I got was, I think, the first one I've ever had in this game. So there's there's probably some combination of mods and things I'm doing and running that... Uh, will cause an eventual or occasional freeze and lockup. So I might look... Oh, I'm going to have to look into that and, and try and minimize that in the future. In the meantime, I've at least changed the autosave interval to every half day. We didn't lose much. Our, our bad guys are on their way back. They're, they'll be here any second. Uh, we already have the screen queued up to be put in. We got this put in. There is one more thing I wanted to do before we finish this episode, and that is kind of reduce how much time we're spending with the hay. And we're making kibble in here, if I'm not mistaken. This is not human butchering, and then we have human butchering down here. Okay. And making kibble with hay and... Just human meat? Is that what we're doing? 
I'm going to throw insect on here when the time comes, if we get infested. Yes, yeah, so that, that's all fine, except for the kibble. Where's our... There's no radius for this? Oh, there is. Okay, of course. Um, I'm going to reduce this. I don't want people going all the way out of the kitchen to make kibble. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to need hay in here. So we're going to make just a little stockpile right in the butcher room. Won't look great, but that's okay. And we're going to make it critical for hay. So there'll be one stack of hay in here. And it'll hopefully speed up the speed up our kibble making process. And ideally, one of the robots will come and bring at least one stack over there at all times so the cook doesn't have to go. Well, we already reduced the radius, but... Yeah, I don't want our cooks... I mean, previously, I, I guess our cooks were coming all the way up here to grab hay to make kibble. Which is just ridiculous. We, we've had that going on way too long. And that might have been the reason... You know, that might have caused us some, some problems with our overall moods and, and what have you. Anyway... These guys are doing okay. The group is back. So we didn't lose too much time. Fortunately, they're coming in this way. Dromedary's with them. And you are just eating grass or something. And you're just wandering. You are a grazer. I would like you to get home, though. And while those guys are back, I want to, I know they're bad guys, so I doubt their hauling is that high. But I want to make sure that their hauling is all below their crafting. And it is. Yeah, that's all. that's all fine. Uh, so let's see, Lecter's coming in. Uh, oh, right, we got to get back to our standard mode. Uh, Lecter is puking from gut worms, I hope. Oh, he's got food poisoning from... He might have been eating kibble. Or just the simple meal, maybe. Depending on how it was prepared. Once this gets up, we'll get a little bit, we'll get home a little bit faster from those trips down to that end. Yeah, you know, Lecter's just barfing all over the place. Now he's going to go unload his inventory. He <laughs> puked twice on the way back. Edward, meanwhile, still cranking away. I'm glad we boosted that crafting. And we've got an egg in here. That's right, we do have some chickens. I've seen them around. The two hens, they are grazers. And yeah, someone's getting to them, I guess. They don't get any medicine. Our wargs do, and our dromedary does. That's fine. And the wargs we have in the home area until they get trained. The training is clearly not happening too quickly here. Uh, we got a mad hare. I'm going to pause it because we don't want to completely ignore that. Although, obedience is going up. Still a far cry from hauling, though. So, we really could use someone who's very talented with animals, which I do not think we have. That would be handling... Our best is a sick in, or a six and it's Nash. You have a double passion rain? Oh right. Oops. Uh yeah, we did boost yours slightly, so you're gonna Oh, you are gonna cook though too. Yeah, that's that's fine. And you're basically a primary grower. Then you'll cook a bit, then you'll handle Yeah, I guess we're gonna be have to, have to be okay with that. Um so where's this mad hair? It's already in our base. Who's nearby? It won't attack animals. As far as I know. I'm not even responding yet. I don't, I don't... It's going for someone. Lecter is sick. Food poisoning major. So he's actually in pretty rough shape. Wow, he's moving slowly. Uh, Hans. Why don't you jump down here. And be ready to shoot the hare. Which is probably targeting Lecter as we speak. Lecter. Just turn and head back the way you came. I know it's about the same distance, but maybe we can catch an open door here. And in fact, go ahead and hold this door open. Edward, who doesn't fight, and Nash, who does, jump out and get in here. Maybe right behind Hans. Oh, he's going after the hauling bot. I forget they attack robots. That's just terrible. Let's, why don't we deactivate you so you can try and make a run for their charging dock. You're actually pretty fast. Here comes Hans. Okay, so Hans is now in a melee fight with the hen, or with the hare, which we don't really want. Lecter, I can go ahead and recruit you at this point. Okay, so Nash was there for some backup to finish it off. Hans is going to go eat. And you got a couple little bites. You know, actually, you know, not extremely minor. You will need tending. There is an infection chance. How's your gut worms doing? 
I mean, that's just something you you stay with. I don't know why you'd even want to tend to this with better better quality. Maybe you can affect the pain or hunger rate or how long it lasts. I don't know. Uh, so we can act reactive. Let's activate all. Activate all. Does that apply to all robots? All available robots. Cool. So each station has that option. That's that's handy. What do we have here? The smithy. Do we want to make melee weapons? Man, Lecter's in rough shape. Food poisoning really does a number on you. But your room is comfortable. Probably a little bit cold, actually. The 56. Oh, do we, did we reset these yet? Maybe not. No, we did not. Okay, so let's get these more to 56. I think is not bad. Yeah, because this room here is 57. I think that counts as sleeping in the cold. You're 58. So they're actually fairly even. Starvation for Lecter. Right. We have food. He'll be okay. Well, we, don't, we have no meals, actually. And Lecter's our primary cook, but we've got tons of produce coming in now. Is it making Art's way to our fridge? It is. Great. So someone will start cooking. And I see Nash going up there to train the dromedary, which is good. Would rather get the... He's just training tameness, I guess. Which is fine. We don't need obedience. We don't need the dromedary to follow anyone while drafted or, or otherwise. Okay. And the mega screen is in. Sweet. How's our power doing? I think I just saw it tick up. Yeah, so as long as it's ticking up during the day, that's at least a good sign. And we're not even getting full wind power. Psychite refining is done. Oh, great. Yeah. And we have an item stash quest. Uh, charge lance and a sniper rifle. Both long range. Sniper rifle a little bit further, but not as much damage, I think. Maybe not as fast of a fire rate. Uh, we have 16 days. It's guarded by four enemies. Well, that doesn't sound too bad for these two fantastic weapons. I think we'll go for that. Kind of around the mountain range from us, but still should be a relatively quick trip. Two days. We've got two weeks to do it and, and, a, and a couple extra. I think we will go for that. In the meantime, I want to do a couple things. One, let's get our new power going. We're not necessarily hurting for power now, but if we, if we build it now, we will basically set ourselves up to be able to you know expand without worrying about power uh, for, the, for the near term. Yeah, you know, 340 steel. Yeah, we can afford this fairly easily. Since it's in our base, I won't worry about covering it or blocking it in quite yet. And we're not on a map where we want to maybe harness some of this heat that's coming out of here. So we'll just lay, let it hang out outside. Just one extra redundant power cable. I think it'll be okay. And honestly, we might even want to maybe run one down along here. Just in case something happens to any of this power. I'll do one more backup there, just in case we lose a solar panel or something. Okay, and psychite refining. Let's set up some drug bills. Smoke leaf joint, fine. And we can make yayo or psychoid. Hmm. Um. Addictiveness twenty percent. Addictiveness ten percent. Market value 14, market value 21. Days for McBride because fiance Steven died. Yeah, something similar happened before we got the crash. Um, recreation 70%, recreation 80%. I think, oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Recreation 80% also. Uh, oops, I'm just adding bills here by clicking that. I think we want to start with the Yayo. I'm going to just reduce the radius to something nearby. I don't want them going out to the farm to make this. And make, keep us stocked with, say, 30. Okay. Um, okay. And then do one for Flake. Same thing. Let's just bump this down a bit. Keep us stocked with 30. close and let's see psychoid leaves 
What else can we do with this? Oh, we can brew psychoid tea, which we're doing. We have that on a do forever, don't we? Is that are we doing that in here? Make psychic tea. Uh do until you have like a hun two hundred. Yeah. And I'll probably want to get a separate stove just for drug production, but that'll be okay for now. So once we get both of these going, I, I kind of want to have a little bit of both. So I don't want to make these numbers too high. I want them to finish one and then go on to the next. Uh, and then we'll do one more. I'm tempted to make it do forever, but instead I'll go like two, ten, 200 and 300. I'm hitting control while clicking this to, to increment by 100, by the way. And then we'll reduce the ingredient radius a bit. Oh, I should be careful about that because I don't want it to be not inclusive of maybe a fridge or something or the stockpile up here. Yeah, and we'll just do the same thing for flake. Do until you have X, one, two, three. Bump it down a bit and that'll be fine, okay. We'll see how that gets on, and I'm going to remove, actually, the smoke leaf joint bill. Now, let's throw it on the end in case there's nothing else going on. Do forever. Just we have an extra station in case we need it for some reason. Uh, so now here's our medical table. I don't know if we've set these for anything. Right, so this is now going to be used for plant matter, raw resources, psychoid leaves. That's going to be important, so that should override anything we already have. So we'll put the psychoid leaves there. We'll eventually have maybe... Heel root here, maybe some cloth. And actually, I think we're going to need one more shelf because these are going to be tool benches, which take 200 steel. Yeah. Has this all been dropped off? All the steel has been dropped off, and we still have 700 steel. Hmm. Tempted to, to fire off one of these toolboxes, tool cabinets, so we can. Uh, Nash is on an insulting spree. He's bleeding from the chest. Hopefully it just insults the hauling bots. Uh, what is wrong with you? Your left lung was destroyed a while ago. You were bit by someone. Oh, so your insulting spree might be over. Someone may... What happened here? Nash loudly insulted Phoenix's abilities, which and then Phoenix fought you for that. can't believe you insulted Phoenix's abilities. And what would you do to Phoenix? Hey, you uh, let him have it a bit. But you should know Phoenix will bite you. So, you're bleeding, right? Yeah, you're gonna have to go get that looked at at some point. And Phoenix is already being tended. I like when they end up in the hospital net side by side. And honestly, they can actually chat about it a bit, which might happen. He went right to sleep, though. Someone will come in and help him. Alright, cool. I think on that note, we'll leave it. Or maybe we'll let's see if Hans can finish off this geothermal generator. I mean, look, we have no power being generated here and our batteries are holding okay. So we don't quite need it yet, but I, I like the idea of getting it down. And then we can really, you know, not worry about what else we're building as far as power drain goes. Maybe expand, maybe get our brewery up and running, switch over. I mean, now that we've got the crops coming in, the meals aren't showing up yet. I'm not sure what's going on with the cooking. Lector, is that what you're doing now? You're consuming berries. You're going to that table. I kind of almost want to make the main bad guys not allowed in here. Just so they don't bother. Or, eh, this, is, this is not a good idea, but I was thinking maybe some more direct hallway into this room. It's not really that accessible. And clearly this table's closer to them, so they're going to choose it. Well, the thing is, meals should end up in here, so they shouldn't be coming into this fridge for food, is, is really the idea. So I guess, given that, it's not so bad. But Lecter, you're playing chess now. Besides researching and... Oh, researching is near number one, that's why. So who is cooking? We don't have a cook. McBride's a two, Hans is a two, Phoenix is actually a three somehow. We need Phoenix to be mining. Someone's got passion here. Uh, rain, but rain's our grower. Yeah, Lecter's just gonna have to do it. Um, yeah, so certainly before you research, I guess you can manage first. Then you gotta cook. Uh, 
And every time I look over, Edouard just dutifully working away here, getting our joints going. And how many do we have here? What is that? 70 or 91? Not bad. Do we have a we have a trade beacon here? Good. So we got an eclipse. That does affect us here, unlike our last colony. And this is just about finished. Great. And we should see just the power start surging through here. Let's kind of make sure that's all set. Yeah, it looks fine to me. Got a little bit of redundancy. Shock these aren't going up right now. Hmm. And we got a bandit cap quest. So two potential quests to look at for next time. Glitter World Medicine times 19. Tech proof tech prof subpersona core. Um I forgot what that does. We had one last time too. I don't know if that trains an ability or what exactly it does. I think it might be a trainer, although usually the name is in there unless it's intelligence or something from the tech prof. I don't know. But we'll look at it. Three enemies? Sure, we can take them even if they're pretty well armed and it's close by. We we could even get greedy and try to do two and one. Maybe do this one and that one on the way back if we're healthy enough. Got a little bit less time, but still plenty to get going if we want to. And cool. Yeah, we'll think about that. I thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll look at that next time. See you then.